the best thought experiment you can engage in is to just sit down and take any base belief that you have and ask yourself the question, why? You know what? I guess we'll just begin the recording with uh, some Growlithe and Thumper. Thumper's uh, trying to figure some stuff out and Growlithe is just watching. She's just watching. No. Hi, Thumper. Hi, oh, baby. Look at him. He drink. He drink. He's a good boy and he drink. <laughs> no. Bye, Thumper. Bye, Growly. Anyways, <laughs> on to the episode as it stands. Let's talk about this. I have no idea how Cherry's going to handle the editing for this one, but I think it will at least be uh, an interesting-ish conversation. I want to talk about gender, and there's a reason I want to talk about it. But first, let's go ahead and get into the fan art section. First of all, we have a piece from Sky Lily. Thank you very much for what looks to be a almost strawberry waffle cirrus. The next one we have here is from Sylvia Silica, the finished piece of Cirrus slamming the hammer into the camera. And again, we have the very, very sharp toeses. Uh, the last one we have is from Stargazer Lay. Been in a Splatoon mood, so here's an Inkling Cirrus using a roller. By the way, players will know what the ink color implies. Get out. <laughs> As always, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future episode, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the discord with that said let's go ahead and talk about well why i want to talk about this so i saw a video recently and i'm going to play the video for you guys but it's going to lead me into a conversation about gender stuff and hopefully you'll understand why here in a sec but we're going to play the video real quick we're, we're good. You're female. We're good. We're you're a woman. You're a girl. Yes, I am female, but my we're pronouns good. are data. There's no such thing as data. That's stupid. You're one person. I don't want to be called a girl. Why not? What's wrong with females? You don't call me a woman. Then I can also be called a female. No, you can't. You're not. You're delusional. You will always be a woman. Yeah, you're not. 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 you are not you are not you are not you are not She's literally screaming at a child. This older lady who doesn't know the kid, as far as we can tell, is screaming at a child about pronouns that make her very angry. You cannot no, not stop not. yelling at children and not. take it up with me, her. And that's, that's really wonderful for that's you to have an not. opinion on that. No, but it's not I'm an thing. adult, it's a fact. And you're you are a, woman. a child. I'm not attacking nobody. I'm saying reality. You have a problem. I'm not talking to nobody, I'm stating reality. Meanwhile, she's talking to at least two people. Yeah. You are conducting me, your daughter. Now, I believe you could be yelling the sky is blue, and if you yell it in a child's face, it's not okay. Do you understand that? Oh my goodness. No, so you don't? Because I have so blue, no matter what color you think it is, or what gender you want to give it. Just don't yell it in the face of a child. I'll yell it in your face. That's fine. I don't want that. You're using them as shields. No, 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 no. She's not using the child as a shield. She literally said, don't yell at my child, yell at me. What? How is that using a child as a shield? <laughs> okay, so here's the reason I wanted to talk about this. Let's talk about pronouns for a second, okay? Because I've been seeing a lot of people, mostly because of the don't say gay bill, getting up in arms about pronouns. Pronouns making them uh, angry, upset. I mean, why? Literally, to have a conversation in the English language, if I were to transcribe that conversation into text, I would need to utilize pronouns. I would need to. There's no way around it. It's just a matter of reality. Because at the end of the day, 
They are a part of the English language, and there's no way around it. And people who get upset about that genuinely confuse me. Now let's talk about they, them as a singular. They, them has been used as a singular in the English language since the King James Version of the Bible. And yet somehow that perfect piece of literature is not perfect enough for these people. Midnight Rider, thank you for redeeming your points for an... You fucking monster. I know it's been used before that as well, but it is it is fun to point to the usage in the Bible specifically. Because when you do that, it, it, it showcases a bit of a hypocrisy. The idea that there's a, a perfect book that several of these people will fall into, and yet... Uh, there's an imperfection in it, the, uh, the the usage of singular they and them. But I want to dig into something a little more meaty than that. A, a, a position that I've, I, I want to throw out to you. It's the idea that um nobody really gives a shit about this. Nobody actually cares about pronouns, at least not in a substantive way. And what I mean by that is when giving your reasons why you're upset about pronoun usage, about they, them, about anything like that, you're not actually upset at anything tangible. You're not upset at anything functional. You're upset at an idea. And moreover, my, my theory, my hypothesis, is that people who are upset at that idea are not upset because they think there's legitimate gripe to be had. I think they're upset because they've been told to be upset. And I know that sounds very belittling to a lot of people. I know that sounds like I'm taking uh, their opinions and stripping them away from them and throwing them onto some pundit who threw the idea in their brain. But when I hear these conversations about brainwashing, the only thing I can think of is that this is actually a form of projection. Many of these people have been subjugated into thinking the way they do about pronouns because of the YouTubers that they watch, because of watching people like Tucker Carlson on Fox News, and yet they think that other people around them are the ones being brainwashed when what functionally is happening is language, certain usages of language are becoming more normalized. And they can't even point to any actual, like, wrong with that. When, when you have to sit there and ask the question, what is wrong with a kid using they, them pronouns? Their immediate thought is to scream, what's wrong with being a woman? What's wrong with being a woman? Nothing's wrong with being a woman. Nothing's wrong at all. There is zero. There's zero wrong with being a woman. Nobody said there's something wrong with being a woman because she, her was already an option there. You don't actually care about pronouns, though. They, them, he, his, her, hers, none of that actually bothers you. In fact, you, person watching this video, have probably been using they and them in the singular your entire life without realizing it. Because it wasn't until recently that somebody told you you needed to care about language that much. Somebody needed to tell you that they, them is definitely always plural, and that's why it's dumb. Generally speaking, most people use they in the singular without thinking about it at all in common day vernacular. And it isn't until some pundit has told them that's wrong to do that they even think about it. But it sounds intuitively correct to them, generally. The only reason they're upset now, someone told them they should be. And now when you hear, quote, woke folk mention pronouns, you scream like a child. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It's such a minor thing. There's nothing to truly be upset over here. It's like people getting upset that children are being taught what gender is at a young age. My guy... Your kid learned what gender is the minute they saw somebody who didn't look like them and said, why do they look different? They immediately started understanding gender. The minute they picked up a book, 
when the protagonist was a different gender than them. They understood something about gender. They learned about gender. However, what's happened is pundits have convinced you and other people that what's happening is indoctrination. And they've conflated indoctrination with grooming. And now suddenly it sounds like everybody talking about LGBTQ things to people at a young age are some type of predator. Because loaded language has been used to convince you that that's the case. And instead of sitting down and asking yourself the question, what is actually wrong with these concepts? What is actually wrong with the idea of gender? as a social construct. What is actually wrong about that? People fall onto default statements, and you've probably heard them before. Maybe you've even thought them yourself. Default statements like, I just don't think kids should be learning about that that young. Why? You have to, you have to go one step further. That's a default statement. You need to ask yourself the reason why you don't think that that's the case. Or another default statement. That's not how gender works. Gender is sex. Okay, why? Can you explain why? Do you have evidence to back that up? Do you have a research paper that maybe someone could look at? Because by and large, the research papers show that no, these are two different concepts and there's nothing wrong with delineating between the two. So what's wrong with a kid learning about it? If you're scared that your kid's going to turn out trans, they're going to end up trans whether you like it or not, if they are. They're going to experience gender dysphoria at some point if they are, if, if that's a thing that they're going to have to deal with. And you're not going to be able to stop it, and you're being more of a hindrance than a help if that's the case. They might not even experience gender dysphoria. They might experience euphoria. Performing is the opposite gender or even finding a comfortable place in between. Another default answer is generally, we well, used to just call them tomboys. Um, and of course that ignores the fact that there's an entire gender of people you've ignored in that conversation. Dudes. All of these end up being knee jerk gut reactions, usually fueled because some pundit you watch, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Tucker Carlson, or hell, even just sitting here on YouTube, freaking the Hodge twins or Blair White or anybody like that, they've told you that, don't worry, don't worry. We know what we're talking about. So you don't have to think. So when you sat there and debated on whether or not you should ask yourself the question, why? Why do I think this way? Why is this my knee jerk reaction? Why is this what my gut is leading me to? You instead defaulted onto the easy answer. Somebody else told you something. I'm not going to tell you to go with the easy answer. I'm not going to tell you to believe me. I'm going to tell you to sit down and ask yourself the question, why? The best thought exper experience you can have, the best thought experiment you can engage in is to just sit down and take any base belief that you have and ask yourself the question, why? You're not asking yourself the question why so that you can change your own mind. You're asking yourself why so that you can have a better foundation. Why, is the, why do you believe the sky is blue? Why do you believe that murder is wrong? These are two statements that I agree with on their face value but I could actually sit down and have a conversation about why I believe both of those things that extend past my feelings, my gut. I can't do that with all of my beliefs. I don't think anybody can do it with every single one of them, but I think everybody does owe it to themselves to at least try, at least engage with it. Again, this is all based on the theory that most people don't care about things like pronouns but they've been told to. They've been told that a gender neutral pronoun is a terrible, horrible thing. And that's, uh, that's bad because of that. If I were to leave this topic with anything, it's to, to just ask yourself the question, why? Any belief you have, good or bad, why do you believe it? Do me a favor, hop into the comment section. 
if you did if you did this thought experiment in any shape form or capacity let me know what you did it with i want to know in there i do read pretty much every comment that comes through even if i don't respond to all of them so let me know what your experience is with this thought experiment and it can be anything you like nintendo over sega okay why you think that rollerblading is better on uh, blades and you don't like skating on, you know, roller skates with four, four wheels. Doesn't matter. Ask yourself why. Be able to sit there and come up with an argument as to why. That's my thought. There's that. Let me know what thought experiments you come up with in the comment section below if you're watching over on YouTube. And if you want to support my channel and what I do, there's plenty of ways to do so in the description below. Patreon is probably the biggest supporter of the channel that you could find. As always, though, thank you for the view. Subscribe if you haven't already, and insert into video tagline here.